If you're watching this video, your child is probably already a patient at Arkansas Children's Hospital being treated for an illness. Sometimes certain illnesses require treatment with medications that can raise the blood sugar to the point that insulin is needed. This can be temporary, but in some situations, it's permanent. You'll be taught how to treat your child's blood sugar using insulin during their hospital stay. Labs will also be sent to rule out type 1 diabetes. Sometimes when children are treated for conditions such as cancer or undergo an organ transplant, the medicines required for therapy may elevate their blood sugar. These medicines may cause a temporary or permanent increase in blood sugar levels. Medicines that are known to elevate blood sugars include steroids like prednisone, anti-rejection medicines like Prograft and Celsept, as well as various psychiatric meds like Abilify. TPN is another IV medication used to provide nutrition through an IV that can raise blood sugar levels. Some conditions require lifelong treatment with these medicines, so insulin therapy may be long-term for your child. The prescribing doctor of these medications will decide if discontinuing the medication is an option. Steroid-induced diabetes and post-transplant diabetes are different than type 1 or type 2 diabetes. It can only be treated with insulin in children. In adults, sometimes it can be treated with oral medications that make the body produce more insulin, but these are not approved medications for children. Medications that cause elevated blood sugars can decrease the body's ability to use insulin properly, as well as raise the blood sugar. In some cases, the pancreas can be damaged, and an insufficient amount of insulin may be produced. Elevated blood sugars can impair healing and put children at an increased risk for infection, so it's very important that blood sugars be treated with insulin. Insulin may be given one to four times a day, and even more frequently on days that your child is sick. You'll be shown a separate video on how insulin works, administration techniques, as well as general diabetes care.